On this episode, we're gonna take a look at Anthony Banks' submission for the logo critique. He does something that I'm a big fan of. He did a hand letter script typeface. I'm gonna show you how laying out some guides in Illustrator can really tighten it up and give it that extra level of polish. Stick around. Having this swoosh or flourish of the L actually touch here is making it hard for me to read. This is a little awkward here too. This is a nice flourish. This really completes this thing. The reason why you create the flourishes is to... If there's a lot of white space, it fills it in a little bit so it doesn't feel so empty. That's exactly what it does. So you can see then why he added this, why Anthony added that, because without it, there would be this negative space in here and he didn't know what to do with it. And I'm also thinking with the L, I think it would've been nice if he just finished it here. Mm -hmm. That way, B, doesn't uh, get confused with this strange ligature that's been created. So now I'm gonna switch over to the pen tool and I'm going to try to draw the baseline of this. And I'm trying to line it up with the bottom of the K. You're looking for a stroke that has a flat bottom. There we go. We can look at the top of the A, the way that the A strokes, the, how it finishes right there. I believe that's the X height. So now we have some establishing lines here. So I'm noticing a problem already. As I line up the K, the L feels a little short of the K. Uh -huh. So there's one thing I'm seeing. Interesting. And I'm gonna continue to draw some lines here, some guidelines. So I'm gonna try and match up the stroke width, width here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to line all these things up because okay. I wanna see what's going on. Now I'll take this and I'm gonna hit command five, which will turn it all into a guide. Let me point out some things here. You do want the tops of the K to line up with the top of the L because they're essentially the shared letter. When, if you guys took the typography course and we studied letter forms, there are shared parts between letters. Letters that have verticals, they should have shared parts and letters that are circular in their shape like an O or the letter C, they should have shared common parts. It's not supposed to look different. And that rhythm, that sense that each character is based on another character, really makes it feel cohesive. Mm -hmm. And that's some of the principles of lettering here. The C, the all curved letter forms, need to overshoot it so it feels optically balanced. Otherwise, it will feel a little short. The bottom of the C doesn't go below like the way the A does. You see the A over here? Yeah, How it overshoots a little bit? Mm -hmm. Bottom of the A, bottom of the L, mm -hmm. a little funky there. Conversely, the top of the C has, is, is overshooting the X height, but it's going a lot higher than the A. Than the A. And there's, they should be very similar, if yeah. not the same, because the lowercase C and the A should be very similar. Now, here's the good news, bad news. Good news is if you draw one letter form correctly, in theory, you don't have to draw so many letter forms again and again. They're not meant to be different. Yes. I'm looking at the way this curves over and how it continues through the letter form. It feels like this tapers down, and if I were to continue that mm, on an imaginary God. line, it misses this mark somehow. Okay? Chris, so, you have a, I have a hawk. <laughs> let's try and fix one problem and see by, if by doing that, that solves everything else. So I'm gonna use the cut, what is it, the scissor tool, which is I think right here, and the scissor tool is C. Okay. So I'm gonna select this right here. I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm gonna cut it right there. So in theory now, I should be able to take these points and move them away. Does it read like black? What, what did they say, Pable before? Yeah, yeah, Pable. Does it still read like Pable? Let's see. What do you guys think? Does it, does it, did we improve the legibility? We still have to fix the B for sure. Maybe if you use the Able down a little bit. So we'll move it down, what, like that? Yeah, that's looking, looking more label. The bell? Someone says Pable is not a word. We, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a new problem though, ladies. Mm -hmm. What's the new problem? That space. That oh, space. Man. That cover goes space right there. Yeah. We got to go do something with that. Uh, make a flourish off the last L and fill that space that way. So if I get into my brush here, she's talking about doing something like this. Right? Oh. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but we're not going to be able to solve that because that takes all, like 100 sketches for us. Oh, to yeah. Out. Yeah, just a suggestion. Right? Mm -hmm. that, that's for what future you reference. You got to fill these things in, right? So okay. it's like, I don't know how it's going to look. I think if you trace over a hundred of these kinds of logos, it, it will eventually come together. I, I want to try and draw a curve with as few points as possible so that they're easier to manipulate. So you really didn't need those points. You don't even need this point. You see? Yeah. That, and then that ensures that the curve is much nicer and easier to control and you don't have any weird flat spots. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to 
make the bowl of the bee have a nice smooth curve and arc to it like the way this feels. This yeah. feels really nice to me and I'm not quite sure what's going on. So this is what we need to work on. The bottom of the bee feels like it's got some problems too, like it's sagging down the emphasis. Taylor, watch, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we look at the thickest point, it's right around here. So that if you imagine the pen is being held at a certain angle and it's being drawn, so these will always be the thickest points. So in theory, this is the thickest point if I'm being consistent with the way this is drawn. Because it's gonna be drawn down, it's gonna come back up. And you might turn the pen. So here's where it gets a little funny. Like where's the thickest point here? It's a little undecided. Mm -hmm. I think this should have been the thickest point here to match these lines. So it would go thicker here, start to thin out, and it'd be thick down here. So if we keep that in mind, let's try to see if we can adjust this B here. Okay, I'm not gonna fix it, but do you see how like there's the thickness here? Yeah. yeah. Right? Does it feel a little bit better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is show like this, there's a nice thick to thin transition that I think makes it look really fun and friendly. And that's what we're trying to do. I hope you liked this episode and found it to be informative. If you like it and you want to take a deeper dive, be sure to check out our logo design course. And if you want to have your work critiqued by us, by the team or myself, make sure you go on our Facebook page and look for the call for submissions. That's it for this episode. Be sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And I will see you on the very next episode.